I think many of us are familiar with the atheist Christopher Hitchens who uh, developed cancer a few years ago and died tragically. And I heard people at that time uh, kind of admonishing Christians who would critique his books on atheism, basically saying something like, don't you realize Hitchens has cancer? How could you critique his book? Mark, as a philosopher, that seems to me not to be the most sound argument or the most sound critique. What's wrong with that? Well, there is a problem with that, and it's called an appeal to pity. It's when you distract from the, the issue at bar, which in this case is a critique of a book, and replacing it with an emotional appeal or a moral appeal. And so if you replace a, a cognitive assessment with a moral or an emotional assessment, you're committing this fallacy. So what you want to make sure you're doing is when you're hearing that, you ask the question, is this trying to distract me from the critique of the book or is it doing something else? So Ken, how then do we avoid making that mistake when we engage in an argument? I think we need to realize that uh, there's a problem of relevance. Is the appeal to pity, this uh, approach to emotion, is it really relevant to the ideas that are in the book itself? I think an important component with that too, Fuzz, is Christians care a lot about being compassionate. Uh, but in one sense, people can kind of play on your sense of compassion. That's not a good thing. You don't, you don't want people to, to try to persuade you by appealing to emotion. You want to get, have a good argument. Let, let the compassion take care of itself, and with Christians it usually does.